you by Grandma Hazel. I'll take up your mantle and protect the town. You can rest now. Today, we say goodbye to one of this town's finest citizens, Hazel Wild. Her dear friend Lena is going to say a few words. Hazel was my mentor. Yes, but she was more than that. She was always giving advice, a bowl of soup, a basket of fresh eggs. She never, ever gave up on those she loved. And she loved this island more than anything. And now she's given us Tara. Oh, we are so glad you're here. It means Hazel hasn't really left us. Thanks, Lena. Hello. You're Hazel's granddaughter? I'm Wesley. I've never seen you around before. Oh, I don't live in Fairhaven. Oh, I see. So you came over on the ferry from Oakwater. Well, thanks for taking the time to come all that way. Um, of course. I wanted to come pay my respects. Hazel was a wonderful friend. Oh, um, and I uh, have this for you. I run a rare bookshop, you see. Hazel had me fix the binding on this old family heirloom. I know she would have wanted you to have it. Oh. Th th thank you so much. Well, I should go. Nice to meet you, Tara. Nice to meet you, too. Wait. That's not the way to the ferry. Look, Tara. I'm real sorry about Hazel. She was a special lady. I'll be sure to raise a glass to her at the bar. Your grandma knew you would come back to take care of her in the end. She did? Oh, yeah. I told her. I don't get it. <laughs> nah, you sure don't. Hi. I've been meaning to stop by, but I, I didn't want to intrude. Oh, my heart goes out to you. Hazel was a truly decent person. Strong, too. I see a lot of her in you. Thanks. I made you something. Of course, I'm not much of a cook, but I can keep a fire lit under a pot at least. Hazel was ready. She knew it was her time, but it's still all right to be upset and to mourn her. You deserve that space for yourself. I am so sorry about your grandma. She used to joke I would have to pry her secret cookie recipe from her cold, dead hands. <laughs> but I thought that's just Hazel being Hazel, you know? Uh, it's okay. I'm fine, really. You're being so brave. She would have been very proud. Thanks. Look, I'm really sorry to hear about Hazel. This is a tough deal. Thanks. I'm not great at these situations. Um, let me know when you're feeling better. Hey, I'm seriously bummed on your behalf. This is just really heavy, brah. Thanks, Kai. <laughs> Today, when I paddle out, I'm gonna catch a bomb just for Hazel. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sure that would have meant a lot to her. I know what it's like to lose someone you were close to. A kind word would have meant a great deal to me then. You have my sympathies. Thanks, Vanessa. I'm sorry about your gram. My dad said those we've lost never really leave us. I don't think it's true, though. He feels pretty gone to me. My deepest sympathies for the loss of your grandmother. Thank you. I don't think she ever voted for me. But that's not what matters now. You no doubt have a lot on your mind, but I need to tell you that your grandmother...
grandmother left everything to you. The farm, the house, all of her possessions are yours now. She did? <sighs> Thanks for letting me know. I know you're still processing these sorrowful events, but I fervently hope that you will decide to stay. Um, my mom told me about your grandma. I'm sorry. You must be really sad, huh? Yes, but I'll be okay. I have an idea to cheer you up. Wanna come help me and Emmy pull a prank on Messenger Cameron later? <laughs> We're gonna super glue all of his books of the mind to the chairs! <laughs> Thanks, but no thanks. I think I'll sit this one out. That's too bad. Promise not to tell on us? Oh, don't worry. This conversation never happened. In times of loss, it can be tempting to wallow in grief, but I don't think that's what your grandmother would have wanted for you. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... That is a really good point. Come by the Consciousness Center anytime. We're here to help. I am grateful that Hazel was still her same fiery self right until the end. My father isn't so fortunate. Oh, Tara, I'm so sorry. How stupid of me. I can't imagine how you must feel. It's okay. I'll miss her. She was a wonderful mentor and a steadfast friend. I only knew your abuela a short while, but she was a lovely person. I'm so sorry. Thanks. Look, honey, if you have an heirloom you want me to adjust for you, I'm happy to do it. Free of charge. I can't believe Hazel's really gone. Since my dad moved away for work, things got lonely. Hazel was there for us. She made me feel like everything was going to be okay. I wish I could have done more to help her. If only we had more time. There's nothing anyone could have done. Don't blame yourself. Take care of yourself. There are people here who will help you. We need to stick together. Thanks. I didn't really know Hazel, but I can tell from the way people speak about her that she was special. Thanks. She was. Have you had anything to eat today? Would you like something to take home? Hey, this might be like weird or whatever, but Juliet and I, we're, we're part of a, a grief group. It, it's for kids, but you can come if you want. I, I don't think anyone would care. I'm sorry about your grandma. My grandpa's gone too. Well, not gone, gone, but he's at Harmony Acres. It's this place in Milkwater for old folks who can't remember anymore. I don't like going that much. I don't blame you. That sounds hard. Yeah, but at least we get to take the ferry over. I love taking the ferry. was a special lady and one heck of a good baker. Oh, I'm gonna miss her. She would have wanted me to make sure that you're well fed, so <laughs> here, try some of this. Thanks, Angus. My own grandma helped raise me while my parents were working night shifts in the city. I miss her every day. My heart goes out to you. Thank you. And sorry about your grandma. Cameron says we just have to work to live up to their hopes for us. I'll try. Oh, 
I always love when you stop by, Shelby. Take care. Hey, I didn't realize you came into town or bought things from Lena's store. Marcus is my friend, yeah? Why wouldn't I buy canned goods here? My dad lives in Milkwater, remember? Parker and I run the store now. Oh, yes. Hard to keep all that straight. Oh, you knew Lena's father? How long have you lived on the island? <laughs> Here's a riddle for an answer. What is older than we can fathom? but is reborn every month. Hmm. Is it the moon? That's right! Or at least... One way to be right. There's no such thing as a simple question, Tara Wild, or a simple answer. Ah, <sighs> classic Shelby. Be kind to him. He understands time differently than us. I'll do my best. I don't tell me, Saint Ayavik.
Wir sind herzlich eingeladen am alljährlichen Sommerfest von Fairhaven teilzunehmen. Es findet bereits einigen Wochen statt. Ich hoffe, Sie dort zu sehen. Mit freundlichen Grüßen, Bürgermeister. to myself now i can look at that book that um that man 
Wesley gave me? Huh. Looks like a journal. Grandma's journal. <sighs> this is her handwriting. On the front flap it says, To my dear niece, to record thoughts both mundane and magical. Vivian. Vivian was Grandma's aunt. She must have been a witch too. Here's the first entry. Today's chores took me through the portal, where I spoke at length with the fairies. Did she write fairies? Maybe I'm misreading the writing. Or maybe there's even more to discover on this island than I realized. Auf das der Sommer komme. Aufgabe abgeschlossen. Als Belohnung erhält. Energie. Binds my body tightly, awaken me and make me sprightly. The blow pose. And it's in an incredible gebout. to the next level. Huh. 
tight.
Mm. As you may have heard, we have a little tradition every summer here in Fairhaven. Yes, the uh, summer festival. I know. Well, you're right on top of <coughs> things, aren't you? I, I like, like that in a citizen. Speaking of which, I could use some help. I was waiting for that. With my speech, the peak of summer is everyone's favorite time of year, and I want to capitalize on that goodwill. Do you think I should talk about history, unity, or the future? Uh, I think you should talk about bringing the community together. Yes, that's what but, uh, I'll do. Well, I better get to writing my speech. Should I go to bed? I go to bed. Yes, tell go to 